right, all my truth and knowledge seekers out there, we've uh, thought we'd do just a real quick little video here. I had a question posed to me about gas is too expensive. Can you make it run on propane or natural gas coming to the house normally? You know, hey, no problem. Went online, found U.S. Carbs. Uh, I'll have a link below, below. Anyway, U.S. Carburetor has a couple different kits uh, that are appropriate for my make and model of engine. A Type C kit was the th thing that was needed, and of course, what that what that includes is this rate regulator. Well, actually, it came with uh, two two regulars. We have a high pressure regulator here, taking gas out of the tank at high pressure, putting it down to a lower pressure. This low pressure regulator then takes the gas and does some more adjustments with it. There's a little adjustment right here and sends it on over to a little thing that you put into the carburetor right, right in front of the air, air, air tank. Um, took me longer to read these instructions than it did to mount this right regulator here and mount that regu this little nozzle on, on, onto the thing to you know the carburetor stack so now what's real cool is i can run on gasoline i can run on propane or i can put natural gas into this engine all of them runs you might need to adjust this regulator a little bit if you switch from natural gas to propane um, and if you want to use gasoline, you know, your, your carburetor is still there we're working. But, you know, we have the gas nozzle turn, turned off down here. So no gas is normally getting in, into there. And of course, one thing, you'll never run it with the choke on. Because, of course, we're just, you know, su sucking air and gas is being mixed right, at, right in this, this part here. So you don't 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 want to use the choke, but aside from that, thing runs great. And uh, so what we're going to do is just do a real quick run with it and uh, show the cutoff saw working. Just that it does work under a load. And we'll go past our lake out here. It's been raining quite a bit. Uh, grab us a piece of metal. Um, that needs to be cut, cut, cut apart. It's all rusted and bad, so we'll just grab, a, grab up something and come down here to the uh, cutoff saw. Put her in there. All right, and come back over here. Turn on our big gas, a couple turns, let that go through the regulator, and there's a little uh, priming adjustment, if you want to call it that, or you just push this in and it'll uh, make the gas you know, come, come out through here a lot faster um, to maybe you know, start, start it. So. That's where that is, uh, but it runs just like a good old gas engine should. So let me give it a pull here.
turning off the gas supply up here as opposed to stopping the engine down there because uh, it, it, that bleeds out the line and everything. It takes it just a minute or two. It actually takes a couple minutes of running to bleed out all the gas in the line. I did that before, but I'm, I got things to do. Uh, and we're going to be starting this up in a little bit again anyway. So, but just thought, thought we'd show the thing cutting straight from the generator. And now we're going to uh, do some tests through the pole pegs or pole transformers and we've got an additional um, thing here this 25kW uh, pole transformer um, notice it only has two uh, taps on the low voltage side the middle tap is not being used that's because this one <laughs> although it's a 14.4 transformer it's designed to put out to uh, 480 um, and was used uh, as one, one of three in an industrial setting so uh, to combat that problem being the McCulloch puts out 110 we've got this wonderful dry transformer and it if you look at the ratings here I don't know if you can see them basically it's saying 12240 on low voltage side high voltage sides 240 480 so I can take and if I had adjusted up right as far as the taps which I've done uh, I can make it so that I you know plug into 110 and out these other two the secondary side of it will come 480 and I'm gonna feed that into the pole transformer and then from there we'll jump over to the other one so that test is uh, Give me a minute to wire it up and we'll do that then we'll run the chop saw again but on the other side of these transformers so say yeah <laughs> 